toilet paper. <laughs> the walk for autism. So it is a cause that is close to our hearts. We need to get educated. Go, Jazzy! Woohoo! Remember those days, those L's, I couldn't sleep right now. I get paid, fake games, stay in peace. I'm breaking the blues over steak, I gotta eat right. You could be my peace sign. I don't need bad energy around me. I just need sun, you're so cloudy. Morning, ladies and gentlemen. I present to you the Walk for Autism. The first day of Walk for Autism. <laughs> And we decided to bring the kids out for a walk. Yeah, we're in a bit of a damp little area here, so let's go. So it looks like everyone has the same idea as us of going walking. for a walk because no one can do anything else. So we're probably <laughs> not going to go there then. Yeah, we can walk across the road. To look at the lake. I don't know whether you guys can hear me because of the wind, but the aim of this autism, a walk for autism, is to do 10,000 steps a day for nine days yeah. or a week. So I have a pedometer right here and I'm on 2800, which isn't very much considering I have to do 10,000. If you include the way back, that's 5,600. So really all you've got to do is another 2,000 300 roughly. Yeah. And then we're gonna go back. But well, we're gonna go to the Woolworths to try and find some yeast so we can make some pizzas tonight. I got our toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> and yeast? No. Oh. We just got back home and we stopped into Coles and Aldi. Well, Jordan stopped in to get a few things and we found toilet paper at Aldi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The kids are just having lunch and Jordan's about to make his famous tempeh wraps and I wanted to show you my pedometer which how many steps we did 7500 and we dropped we've got about 2500 to go which should be easy running around with the kids this afternoon after the nap time but we're just gonna have some lunch and then Take continue the day I'll show you what Jordan's making so this is tempeh here very, very, very good for you. Very high in protein. We've got some lettuce. Secret ingredient. These corn chips. Hummus. And wraps. Good. I'm not even lying though. When I say this is like, I don't, I don't want to chew my own horn here, but you know, it was kind of accidental almost how I stumbled upon it. But, like, it actually gives a lot of my favorite foods a run for their money. Really? Yeah. I'm trying to think of something that I like more. Jessie! Peekaboo! Hi! <gasps> Look at it go! Okay, Jessie! Okay, Jessie! Okay, Jessie! Woohoo! The reason I'm not showing you Jacob is because he's naked. And he refused to wear his swimmers. <laughs> Usually he's not that bad with swimmers.
Jessica here. As you guys just saw, I am editing this current video. I didn't film an outro, nor did I explain the walk for autism very much. So firstly, if you've gotten this far in the video, comment down below the little man emoji that's walking or running. Today is actually the last day of the walk for autism. I know I'm uploading this video a little bit later than it was actually filmed. So basically I did the walk for autism every day for seven days. The walk for autism raises money for children on the spectrum as well as to better equip society and the community to be more inclusive of people on the autism spectrum. I think that I think that society has a very good indication of what autism is. I think the next step that they need to take is to to create a more inclusive community and inclusive society for people on the autism spectrum. As you may or may not know, my son has level three autism and this is the first year we are celebrating the walk for autism. So it is a cause that is close to our hearts. If you feel so inclined to make a donation, I'll leave the link to my donation page down below. Um, if you aren't able to donate, and I completely understand, especially in this time with everything that's going on at the moment, a lot of people are in financial hardship. I would love for you to pick out a video that you've watched of mine that has helped you to understand autism a little bit more and share that video with your followers. My aim is to get the awareness and the inclusiveness out there about autism. And so it definitely isn't about gaining donations for the cause. However, it helps. I feel it's my purpose on this channel to create a more inclusive world for people who live with autism and just to create a world where we're all living in it happily and healthily. I think for a long time, we have been on the side of we need to teach children with autism how to live in our society but i think it's equally as important for people who aren't on the autism spectrum to learn how to communicate and live with people on the spectrum i think it's a two-way street i think the numbers are growing we need to get educated so if you could share one of your favorite videos of mine that you've learned something new about autism from and tag me in it I'd love to know who's watching my videos and just wanting to see the awareness getting out there. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Comment down below that emoji if you got this far in the video. If you haven't already, click that red subscribe button and join along our journey. We will see you guys in our next video. Bye.